All right, welcome people. Welcome to shaving with the squadron. I got my cup here, got my whisker, soaked it in hot water. Now I'm just gonna whip some, whip some air into this. Clockwise, counterclockwise, back and forth. Get some air whipped in there. I haven't been exercising lately. I've been very injured and very tired. I have been getting some better sleep though, so that's a good thing. A little bit better sleep. I've hardly exercised in the past two months, which is sad because uh, I'm certainly noticing it, but past couple of days, I've been trying to get back at it. I don't know what the problem is with my shoulders, but uh, they are killing me. If I lift, tried lifting weights and uh, just the pain is unbearable. All right, I've already done the hot cloth on the face. I did ride the bike for 600 calories today, which is uh, great. I haven't been on the bike. I've hardly been on the bike at all the past two months. I've hardly done anything the past two months, quite honestly, but uh, I may have been on the bike three or four times last month, and I think this was the second time this month, so. So it's been disappointing. All right, so I had the face cloth on my face prior to starting this video. You wanna get it as hot as you can bear and leave it on for about 40 seconds or so. And now I've got shaving foam that sticks to the, that sticks to the brush. That's good. Another midweek shave. Something I never used to do, but seems to be becoming a habit right now. This is Wednesday, so hump day or whatever. I have two more nights of work, so my hump day is over. But my beard is bugging me, so instead of waiting for the weekend, I'm going to get rid of it now. Now, I have two of these razors. I'm not sure which one is which. I'm not sure which one has the older blade or the younger blade. I'm going to take a chance. I'll grab one of them. I'm going to go so gentle that I shouldn't cut myself. Hopefully, I'll get a decent shave. So, I'm going to hold it very gently with two fingers. This one's just going to stabilize. I'm going to put the blade onto the face, let the blade do the cutting, and just keep it tight to the skin and very little effort, very little energy. And I don't care how much hair I cut, not important. I'm just gonna wipe it down for this first pass. If I get 10% of the hair, fine. Anything more than that's gravy. Got lots of shaving cream made. More shaving cream than I'm going to use, quite honestly. Very gentle. You don't want to cut yourself. Clean the blade in the hot water. And that's pretty much the first pass. I'm gonna do the same thing. Once again, exact same thing. So I got lots of air in this. I don't need to whip it anymore, but why not? Reapply, reapply. Get yourself a shaving brush. Uh, shaving brush it really makes a difference if you don't need one you can follow along I, I never used one until a couple of years ago and I've been shaving for decades so you really don't need one but I like it and I recommend it and I'm not even using the right kind of soap I'm just using regular old over-the-counter shaving gel and whipping some air into it this way. 
Exact same thing, very little pressure with the blade due to cutting. Puff the cheek technique. Sounds like a lot of pressure, it really is not. Now, pretty soon I'm not gonna be doing instructional videos anymore. I'll be talking about other things while I shave. But right now, I don't have anything prepared, so. Stretch, I'm just stretching the skin. I remember I heard a woman talking about a man shaving once and she said that men do all these weird contortions with their faces when they shave. That's all I'm doing. The contortion is making the skin tight in the little area. So when the skin is tight, you can get rid of the hair. All right, that is the second pass. Let's foam her up again and See what we can do. Oh, I forgot I put some on the back of my neck. So I'm gonna shave those hairs too this time. Extend the life of my haircut. Yes, I know I need a haircut really badly, but maybe this weekend I'll get a haircut, maybe next weekend. So I'll try not to look too ridiculous with my current haircut and I'll shave the neck a little bit so I might as well do that now. This is blind. I can't see what I'm doing. Hope for the best. I'm just blindly shaving and hoping that it turns out. Remember, the enemy of the good is the great. We're just looking for some improvement here. I'm not, I'm not doing a Picasso. I'm just doing a shave. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, this is the third, probably the final pass. And then we're gonna go against the grain. All right, and then I'll show you one more technique, and then. We're almost done. Yes, this is the most shaving I've ever done in a shaving video. I never go this many times. All right, we're gonna go against the grain. I'm gonna make the skin taut like a drum. And I'm using about half the pressure against the grain that I used with the grain. Make the skin tight. We're almost done. Why do I make these videos? Well, a lot of people never learn how to shave and a lot of people don't have a positive male role model to show them how to shave. So, when I was a kid, I used to like watching my father shave. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wipe, feel for stubble, and cut it as I wipe. 
Also, I'm pulling the skin up over the jawbone so I can get at it. A little dry. The face is a little dry, so I'm just going to apply a little water instead of shaving cream. If you've shaved off all the moisture, just apply a little water. Should be enough residual shaving cream residue. Yes, I know residual and residue are the same root, but you know what I'm saying. All right, let's finish it up. I'm still slight bit stubbly, but I've had enough of this for one day. And remember what I said? Going for improvement, not perfection. A little bit of bird bath action. Oh. Years ago, I used to get my mother to shave the hairs on the back of my neck, but uh, not, necess oh, not necessary, I do that myself. Yeah, right there. And of course, my poor mother can no longer do it, so. All right, this video is getting long. Let's finish it up. Moment of truth. Let's have an inspection, see how she turned out. Not bad, not bad at all. I would give this one a 7.5 out of 10, and lo and behold, I look seven and a half years younger. Anyway, till next time, hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for spending some time with me. Till next time, remember who loves your baby, this guy, and also remember you're somebody's favorite person in this world. Probably mine. So till next time, love you and goodbye.